Right. Now, I know we've got a couple of knitters out there, tatters included. We have Carl there tatting. We have Sue with him knitting. We have, yay! Any more? Any more knitters out there? Oh, relatively few tonight. So, well, for as you see, you come to a talus gig, you'll know this for the next time. You bring your spoon, you bring your knitting. <laughs> Mine's in my bag. Excellent. Mine's there. On stage. On stage. Um, now, we also have some knitting here. If there's anybody who's a knitter, but who didn't bring their knitting, because as far as they knew, knitting wasn't something you did at a gig, which it is always a bit silly, except I always do, um, then we have some knitting here on the table, which is a sort of an ongoing scarf project, which various people have done bits of at gigs. So, quite seriously, if you have a knitter here, who thinks, well, if only I'd known, I'd have brought my knitting. It, that's what it's there for. Pick up that knitting and knit, okay? <laughs> that's what it's there for. Now, I was, uh, I was involved for a while in, uh, in local politics. No round of applause. Civilised lot, aren't you? Okay, I like that. Um, anyway, at this particular meeting, um, a gentleman who should have known better, oh yes, um, <laughs> made reference to, uh, he was making an analogy for a pointless meeting. He said, if you're going to do it that way, you might as well be at a knitting group. Well, that was my response exactly. You know, you know that, obviously. Um, the fact that I was chair of the council at the time and a keen knitter, and my vice chair was a keen knitter, made me feel a little undermined. So, being civilised about it, I didn't make a fuss at the time, but I went home and I started researching knitters of note. I found Eleanor Roosevelt, about whom I had known very little before. What a woman, what a fantastic woman. You probably all know more about her than, than I do. Um, but as well as being a stateswoman and politician in her own right, very much more than Mrs. President, um, she, uh, she was also an avid knitter. There are these wonderful pictures of her sitting prim and dignified, surrounded by heads of state and diplomats, with her knitting bag at her feet. Because this was a time when you knitted. You knitted socks and gloves and hats and jumpers to keep people warm. There's no museum of Eleanor Roosevelt's knitting. There's no, this piece was knitted by the First Lady. These things were worn and worn out. <coughs> She's sort of my patron saint of knitting, in a way. Knitting and politics, they go together, I think. I never did quite manage to pull my knitting out in the middle of a council meeting. Time yet? Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> so, we'll do a song for you now. <laughs>
our history is fitting. Well, here's the president's gun, here's the trophies he's won, and here's Eleanor Roosevelt, Eleanor Roosevelt, Eleanor Roosevelt's fitting. Yarn over knits two together.